well. One Corinthian, thirteen, If I speak in tongues of men and angels, but I have not loved, I have become some in grass. does not rejoice over the wrong, but rejoices in the truth. It covers all things, it has faith for all things, it hopes in all things, it endures in all things, love never fails, and rules. But whether prophecy, they will be abolished, or come, will be free, or knowledge, it will be if we know in part, we have seen it. But when the perfect comes, the imperfect will be suspended. When I was an infant, I spoke as an infant. I reconciled as an infant. When I become an adult, I abolish the things of an infant. For now we see through mirror and the enigma. But then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know I also I was fully known. But now remains faith, hope, love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pay close attention to what you're doing while you work, for precision and small details can make the difference between passable cooking and fine food. <laughs> if a recipe says cover casserole and regulate heat so liquid simmers very slowly, heat the butter until its foam begins to subside, or beat the hot sauce into egg yolks by driplets, follow. You may be slow and clumsy at first, but with practice you will pick up speed and style. Allow yourself plenty of time. Most dishes can be assembled, or started, or partially cooked in advance. If you're not an old campaigner, do not plan more than one long or complicated recipe for a meal, or you will wail yourself out and derive no pleasure from your efforts. If food is to be baked, broiled, be sure your oven is hot before the dish goes in. Otherwise, souffles will not rise, pie crust will collapse, and gratinade dishes will overcook before they brown. A pot saver is a self-hampering cook. Use all the pans, bowls, and equipment you need, but soak them in water as soon as you're through with them. Clean up if you're after yourself frequently to avoid confusion. <laughs> Train yourself to use your hands and fingers. They are wonderful <laughs> instruments. Train yourself to handle hot foods. This will save time. Keep your knives sharp. Above all, have a good time. <laughs>
We can support their marriage and the new family they are creating today. So I ask these questions to all of you who are gathered here this afternoon. Do you commit to do everything in your power to support Colleen and Matt in their marriage? If so, please say, we do. We do. do. Nope, let's try that again. <laughs> you to do everything in your power to support Colleen and Matt in their marriage. If so, please respond, we do. We, we do. do. Thank you. <laughs> and will you hold Colleen and Matt to the measure of love and support to which they have committed themselves on this day? If so, please respond, we will. We, we will. will. Great. <laughs> Colleen and Matt, we've come to the point of your vows to one another. If you are able to keep the vows you take here today, not because of any religious or civic law, but out of a desire to love and be loved by another person fully, without limitation, then your life will have joy and the home you establish will be a place in which you will both find the direction of your growth. Will you please repeat after me? Matt, I promise to love you. Matt, I promise to love you. To be your best friend. To be your best friend. To respect and support you. To respect and support you. To be patient with you. To be patient with you. To accept you unconditionally. To accept you unconditionally. And to share my life with you throughout the years. <laughs> Not repeat after me. Colleen with this ring. Colleen with this ring. I choose to marry you. I choose to marry you. <laughs> it's a little tight. <laughs>